From an exiled king to a scandalous divorce, it goes without saying that King Felipe VI's marriage to Queen Letizia hasn't been a walk in the park. Before she met Prince Felipe, Letizia Ortiz was already a well-known journalist for Televisión Española and kept pretty busy by traveling all over the world as a reporter. By 2000, she had two college degrees under her belt, a ton of newsroom experience, and even earned a special journalism award before she turned 30. As for the prince himself, Felipe was on a journey to find love, and the press loved him for it. He dated Isabel Sartorios and model Ava Sanum before he finally met his wife-to-be. Letizia and Felipe first got to know each other after their mutual acquaintance, Pedro Erquicia Lopez de Montenegro, introduced them at a dinner party in 2002, according to ABC. The prince had split up with Sanam only a handful of months before, but he didn't waste any time getting to know the news anchor. The pair hit it off, and with the way they still look at each other 20 years later, we're not surprised that it was love at first sight. Felipe and Letizia kept their relationship a secret until they announced their engagement in 2003. The two apparently did a good job of hiding their private life since there wasn't a lot of evidence of their romance, and the media was shocked when their relationship was exposed. According to CNN, Felipe told reporters at the time, "...we present ourselves here in love, committed, with conviction and full of hope, and, of course, devoted to serving Spain." Felipe wowed the world not just with his announcement but also with the engagement ring he gave his bride-to-be, a white gold band that contains 16 diamonds. According to The Express, it's worth 20,000 pounds. Interestingly, the outlet also reports that Letizia hasn't worn the ring in public since 2012, which has stirred plenty of conjecture about how she really feels about the extravagant symbol of her husband's love. The next hot gossip to hit the press was Letizia's status as a divorcee. As it did with Meghan Markle, this piece of news brought up all kinds of questions about the propriety of Letizia's marriage to Felipe. She was previously married to writer Alonso Guerrero Perez for a short time before their divorce in 1999. Because she was married through a civil ceremony the first time around, rather than a full-on Catholic ceremony as the Spanish royals traditionally do, Letizia was able to marry Prince Felipe without getting an annulment, according to The Globe and Mail. Alonso Guerrero Perez also gained a boost in media attention after the royal engagement was announced, something he's apparently been frustrated about ever since. In 2019, while discussing his newest book and new relationship, he told Ola, "...with other authors, normally they're asked about their books. I'm always asked about the queen. It's uncomfortable. It's strange. When you want to explain your vision of the world and you're being asked about that topic instead." It appears the crown, aka King Juan Carlos I, was also caught off guard by Felipe's choice of bride. Based on the court of Felipe VI, the Spanish royal family tell-all book, King Juan Carlos was not a fan of Letizia. The former king supposedly told friends that his new daughter-in-law was the worst thing that had happened to the royal family in many years. He also allegedly referred to her as the maid and claimed she was out to destroy the monarchy. Right. According to the tell-all, the master never liked the arrival of a journalist in a place that had traditionally been an opaque haven from the fourth estate. Felipe and Letizia have seen less and less of Juan Carlos over the years due to his abdication in 2014. Following his father's formal resignation and departure from the country, Felipe immediately took up the role of king. Queen Letizia rules by his side to this day. Royal weddings are always a big deal, and Felipe and Letizia's ceremony was no exception. At least 25 million people in Spain tuned in to watch the event, which was over half of the entire population at the time. It was also one of the biggest public events since the fatal terrorist train bombings in Spain earlier that year, which took the lives of 193 people and injured more than 1,800. Spaniards like Rosa Corral saw the day as an emotional reset. She told the Daily Mail, "...this is a breath of fresh air after the attacks we suffered. We need to to get past this. From head to toe, the bride was decorated with assorted historical accessories, regal embroidery, and a cascading bouquet full of secret symbolism, according to Casa Real. But when the time came for Letizia to walk down the aisle, it began to rain. Royal expert Mabel Galas wrote in her book Real Letizia, "...it always rains on the most important days of Letizia's life, the day of her wedding with Felipe, the day of the birth of her daughter Leonor, the day she buried her sister Erica." 
For Felipe and Letizia, it's all about the power suits. Power suits for getting engaged, baptizing babies, and visiting hospitals. Seeing as Letizia was a news anchor before she became queen, it's not a shocker that she prefers business attire. In 2022, she made headlines for matching her husband with her own pinstripe blazer. When they're not rocking the presidential aesthetic, they both have special royal decorum to wear. Together, they own sashes in a variety of colors, each of which represents a different honor, title, or order bestowed on them by the crown. For example, Felipe received a sash from his father during the abdication ceremony that represents the Captain General. Letizia wore a hanging, cross-like pin on a blue-striped sash for Queen Margrethe II of Denmark's 75th birthday celebration in 2015. Every family has their drama and baggage, even the Spanish royals. It all started when the family patriarch, King Juan Carlos, was discovered to have injured himself during a 2012 elephant hunting trip in Africa. According to The Guardian, Spanish citizens were up in arms because taxpayer money was funding the luxuriously expensive trip, which took place in the middle of a recession. The World Wildlife Fund, a conservation organization, was also quick to distance itself from the king by stripping him of his status of honorary president. Things only got worse from there. King Juan Carlos's daughter, who has since been stripped of her title, got caught up in a money laundering scandal through her husband. It wasn't long before the monarch decided to step down in 2014. In 2020, he was still under investigation for alleged tax fraud, something his son has tried to distance himself from. Royal expert Pilar Ere told Euronews, whatever Felipe does, he is always embarrassed by his father. Six years after the abdication of Juan Carlos, more and more people are calling for his son, Felipe VI, to be the last king of Spain. With Letizia at his side, the new king has made an effort to fix the monarchy's image. On their official website, there's even a dedicated tab for transparency, where any one can view or request information about the crown's expenses. Becoming a princess and later the Queen of Spain was not an easy task for Letizia. For one thing, she had to give up the journalism career she worked so hard to obtain. Secondly, as a commoner, she had to make many adjustments to fit royal protocol. According to royal journalist Mabel Galas, Letizia struggled with the transition. She told the Limited Times, she used to say what she thought, but because of her profession and her character, she began to see how she could not say anything. My conclusion is that she was a rebellious princess. However, once Letizia discovered how she could make a difference as a royal, she apparently began tackling the challenge of change. Galas explained, Former Queen Sophia was old school. Go to a function, shake hands, smile, pick up a bouquet of flowers. Letizia knows that the monarchy has to reinvent itself and be more of a citizen. Since Letizia took up the mantle as an impetus for modernization, she's used her royal status to help lift up those in need and highlight areas of society that could use some improvement. She has placed a particular emphasis on science, as her biography states that one of her main endeavors as queen is promoting scientific research. Within a few years of their wedding, Felipe and Letizia had two daughters. Princess Leonor and Infanta Sofia make up the next generation of Spanish royalty, and they've got their work cut out for them. Princess Leonor was named the official heir to the Spanish throne when she was just eight years old, and took up her official royal duties after giving a speech when she was 13 years old. She is currently enrolled in a private school abroad, and honestly, it looks like Hogwarts. Meanwhile, Sofia is wrapping up her time at a primary school closer to home. In 2020, Leonor's parents made it very clear what their expectations are regarding their elder daughter's future. According to a report by Diario de Mallorca, when Leonor was asked the infamous question, what do you want to be when you grow up? Letizia responded with, what she has to, not what she wants. The weight of this sentiment rang true in early 2018, when Felipe presented Leonor with the Order of the Golden Fleece at the Royal Palace in Madrid. According to Pop Sugar, this is a symbolic step towards her eventually taking over the responsibility responsibilities of the throne. Felipe emphasized that the two girls would have the support of their entire family behind them during the speech, saying, "...know that you have the support of many people who want the best for Spain, for the crown, and for you. Your family will always be at your side."